Hey guys, in this episode I'm going to show you how to make this motion sensor music box um, way cheaper than you can buy them online um, and basically it's for the purposes of ghost hunting. It has a infrared sensor here and a music box chip inside and basic premise is when the infrared sensor is tripped it will set off the music box so let's get into it. So there's kind of two main components to this. The first one is this which is the actual music box chips, it's chip itself. Um, I'm not going to turn it on because it is quite loud and quite annoying but the basic premise of this is it's like a music box that you'd find in a gift card. Um, it is light activated, which this is the light sensor here. Uh, there's an on-off switch down here. There's a USB port here, which essentially allows you to charge it and um, add your own music. This one's got uh, a music box version of Swan Lake on it. As I say, there is essentially two main components. The first one is this, and the second one is this infrared sensor. Now the infrared sensor, I've got another one here. Um, basically has a couple of components on it. I've soldered this one a little bit, that's why it looks a bit gammy, but um, yeah, a couple of components on it. The basic premise of it is that it reacts to heat radiation. So if anything walks past that has a heat signature, it will set this off. And then all I'm doing is lighting an LED to trigger the light sensor on the um, music box here. Okay, so without any further ado, I'll open this up and show you how it's all wired up as well. So this is the internals of the box. I've opened it up. Um, it may be a bit hard to see, but I'll rotate and everything. You've got your standardized sort of battery holder with an on-off switch on it. Um, you have your PIR sensor. Now, the way this works, I don't know if you can see it too well. Let me angle the camera. The way this works is you've got a resistor coming off the middle prong and going into an LED. Um, it's then wired up with the positive going to the leftmost prong and the earth or negative going to the rightmost prong, which is also filtered through this LED, so it creates a complete circuit. The way this basically works, let me just switch on, hopefully you'll be able to see it. There we go. Okay, so that LED is lighting up. The way this works is that LED is triggered by the motion sensor, so it won't light up unless it... Um, senses that heat radiation, essentially. Now, when the LED does light up on the closed box, it will set off the um, light sensor here on the music box, thus causing the music box to play, like you saw in the intro. Um, it's really simple. It can be a little bit fiddly with all the components and everything. I'll list the components and show them on screen. Um, but yeah, it's a really simple component, or a really simple build, and you can build it for probably about £40 or £50. Um, we've had some okay successes with it on Ghost Hunts, but we haven't really tested it too much, so we do need to try out more and make and see if we can get something conclusive with it. Um, in terms of the motion sensor, I'm just going to close this up. Oh, I've also drilled some holes in the back. These are literally just so the sound carries more from the uh, music box. Anyway, the way the motion sensor works is there is a couple of, um, I guess, sort of Phillips head screw holes here. Now, these are the settings for it. I can't remember which is which. One of which is range, which I believe is this one. And then this one is duration. If this duration one is up any more than the very base amount, it seems to go off for longer than I wanted to range um, you might as well put it up as far as you can because you want as much range on it as possible and then the third component really is this jumper here now if this jumper is set in the position it is at the moment that is um, it's sort of re-triggering so for instance if it's triggered if it continues to sense constant movement it will keep triggering for as long as it senses movement if the jumper is set between the middle ping and this rightmost ping it is set so it will trigger and then there will be a two three second delay or something before it can trigger again um, as i say due to the settings of me having it so low down on the um, duration that's why i've got the re-trigger so basically if it because the duration is so long if it gets triggered once very quickly you'll hear it for about a second or less than that but where it's on the re-trigger method if it feels some heat radiation moving back and forth it will just keep triggering. Like, again, you saw in the intro with my hand moving up and down. Um, yeah, so that's that's my settings. If you are gonna make one, just play around with them, see what you like. The only thing I will say is obviously, make sure your settings are right before fixing into the box because this is now uh, held in with hot glue, or with glue, 
um, and due to the way that the the chip is, you can't actually adjust it at all because you can't get a screwdriver in here. So just make sure you've got it set up how you want, um, and then go for it. Yeah, just just wire it up. It's a pretty simple circuit, as I say. You've got a a resistor here. I'll put links in the description and tell you how powerful the resistor is because I can't remember at the moment. Just a white LED. You ideally want a white one because colours may not uh, trigger the music box as much as possible. And as I say, just a cheap little music box that you'd find in a gift card, light activated, um, that just gets triggered whenever the LED goes off. And that's it, really simple, really easy to make, a lot cheaper than the $400 ones or whatever they are they, that Yorba gets sold. Um, and in our, our experience, works. Works pretty well. Um, also, the box was about £10. £10 maximum, and I decorated it by painting it and just chucking some paint on it just to make it look a bit nicer. Um, yeah, so that's it. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you do make your own, please let me know and please share with me because I'd love to see what you can come up with or if you can modify it at all or um, or make any changes, maybe something, improvements or something. Um, but yeah, until next time, thanks so much.